Well, hello, good people and Eagle fans. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday. You know, that, that all your taco dreams come true. Um, I've got to figure out what I'm doing for Taco Tuesday. In the meantime, we got some stuff to kind of update you guys with. In case you hadn't heard, Cowboy fan number one, Skip Bayless, my Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, that guy. Um, Skip Bayless is, things are going from bad to worse. Um, the worst nightmare for Skip Bayless is probably happening right now. And we don't know if there's this actually, this rumor has any legs or not. In the meantime, though, Mike Fisher, Mike Fisher, who has kind of put the lowdown about a lot of the stuff that Skip Bayless did about the rumors of Troy Aikman being gay, where basically Skip Bayless started the rumors and then tried to ask people, well, I've heard people are saying that Troy Aikman might be gay to put into a book and so on. So he's the person who was talking about it and investigating it and starting it. So that's the kind of stuff you're dealing with. And forever, Skip Bayless has been in trouble for, you know, when Dak Prescott's brother committed suicide and Dak Prescott men, uh, actually helped a lot of people by saying that, you know, I deal with, you know, uh, mental illness as well and depression. And a lot of people were so happy to find that and use that as inspiration. Skip Bayless, on the other hand, took that as a sign of weakness. And we know about Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp where, you know, literally Skip Bayless threw Shannon Sharp under the bus and saying that he was just jealous because he's a bum, basically, to paraphrase it. So this is Mike Fisher. Damn. I didn't even know. I did not know that Skip Bayless had a YouTube channel. And see, this is where I kind of threw Mike Fisher under the bus because Mike Fisher was talking about being credible. So, and again, I'm paraphrasing um, about being credible, about, you know, basically a lot of us YouTubers that aren't legitimate, you know, and just kind of belittled us. And I, I kind of said there should be room for all of us on here. But apparently, Mike Fisher has gone after Skip Bayless to let us know that Skip Bayless YouTube channel, that these are a couple of the videos that are up on his channel from five days ago, 764 views. Um, two weeks ago, that guy is the MJ of my Dallas Cowboys, 877 views. I'm trying to understand how a guy that's got 56, 56,000 subscribers, if we actually go to Social Blade, you see a sports rank at 1,697, uh, excuse me, 1,679, uh, which says as far as sports goes, there's only 16,000 better than him. His country rank is 132. And I'm like, okay, all right, that, that makes sense. Video rank, though, he's at the 1 million mark. That's not good. Subscriber rank, he's at 2,089. So there's only 872 channels above him. But here's the thing that doesn't make sense. And this is where it looks kind of bad because he's been losing subscribers on a weekly basis. And when I look at the daily views for a channel with 56K subscribers, he's only averaging 139 views a day. Wow. That's not good. To make matters worse, think about this for a second. Skip Bayless, who is, you know, basically him in first take was him and Stephen A. Smith. They built basically um off of pti the pier that launched a thousand ships because everybody started following their model he leaves and goes to fs1s to recreate first take and takes a young guy you know sensei takes his grasshopper and ends up creating shannon sharp shannon sharp 
ends up throwing the, the teacher under the bus and takes the seat that he used to have at ESPN. That's pretty bad. And you see that Shannon Sharp is blowing up with Shay, Club Shay Shay. You see him blowing up. He does videos on YouTube, is blowing up. Now, FS1 decides we're not going to renew. At the end of the summer, we're going to move on. I thought that they were just going to go ahead and just bury the show and find something else. But, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what they're doing. They're going to try and reinvent the show without Skip Bayless. And here are some of the names being floated out there as replacements. Shaquille O'Neal, which, you know, Shaq is very popular. It's interesting. But I don't know how well he will carry a sports show. Because you have to have an antithesis, and I probably mispronounced that, you know, a, 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 a villain, you know, an opposite to have these discussions. Although it might be very interesting because he could get Hawk Tua. We heard that Hawk Tua and him kind of disappeared for a few hours. Uh, you know, maybe that's the show format. OK, that's one avenue. But then when I heard this one, I was like, oh, snap. Floated out there is Stephen A. Smith, who currently is trying to get about $24 million a year from ESPN. And ESPN, which I think pays, um, uh, I think, $18 million for um, Pat McAfee. And they don't want to go above that $18 million. Wouldn't it be poetic justice if Stephen A. Smith ended up going and taking over Undisputed? Bro. Bro. That would be ugly. Oh, my. Seriously? Yeah, they, oh. Oh. If you were Skip Bayless to have lost your spot on first take... Have the guy you had as your underling take that spot, then lose your spot on FS1 to have Stephen A. Smith take it over? Oh my lord! I I, I don't know. I don't know what's next. I, I honestly don't know what's next. Um, I don't mean to make light of somebody losing their job and going through hard times, but see, you have to go through with Skip Bayless. You reap what you sow, man. You treat people the way you want to be treated. And see, you have trashed people, literally. Zeke Elliott's jersey, Dak Prescott's jersey. You have thrown people under the bus. You have burned bridges. And now the chickens are coming home to roost, man. The chickens are coming home to roost. And right now, people are shitting on. Stephen, oh, excuse me, people are shitting on Skip Bayless. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys. Peace out. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no, go. they suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't. Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, Caleb Carter?